<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our new episode. In the last episode, I implemented an anti-sleep detector using facial learn marking based on DLibs library and was written with Python's programming language. I also did some interesting tests with TensorFlow and the whole project was actually implemented on a Raspberry Pi device. So you might want to check that out. In this new episode, I focus on improving the anti-sleep detector and also I'll be adding some interesting tech. I'll be adding face tracking and also night vision. Are you excited? So if you're ready to build, so come on, let's go build. So in the first episode, I was able to um, build an anti-sleep um, application which was um, implemented on uh, the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi uh, utilized a cam. In, in this second episode, I'm making some extension and improvement. So this time around, I'll be adding the Arduino Uno, uh, that 8-bit microcontroller and uh, some servers. Uh, several models which will be used um, to mount the whole system so you can imagine the computer scene in 2D and um, we can represent it with a 2D version graph system they're using an X and Y this is going to be our Y and this will be our X so um, what happens is that every time the computer sees the computer sees in two dimensions Okay, that anything that appears within this space can be um, characterized with XY coordinates to determine its position. So, so if this is a face, for example, so what we did in the first episode was that the anti sleep um, application that was implemented in Python, usually what it would do is that it's going to first look for a face in an image or in this frame what it does next is to look for um, eye blink whether the eye is blinked or not and uh, it uses some points and those points on the faces will be used to determine whether the eyes are closed so how long the eyes are closed will determine um, we'll be able to run uh, using the time library in Python to see determine how long uh, maybe the person's eyes is closed or long enough and that uh, we want to be able to trigger an alert to warn the the user or the driver that um, so that they can they can be awake that's what this program is so the position where this um, face or this uh, is detected the XY position usually the same uh, so what I intend to do with the server models is that this this position, this XY coordinate position, where this face is detected, and um, will actually be sent uh, from the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will send it to the Arduino via USB. And what will happen is when this is sent, uh, the Arduino will get this and interpret the XY coordinate determine how uh, the direction so we're going to be using two two several models two several models and um, one model will be used to determine uh, more of the transformational motion and another several model will be used for um, rotational movement
in our have to build we're going to focus on two different projects and i'm going to show us the different items which i'm going to use for the have to build so are you ready okay guys so i've been thinking of the different projects i can build with the night vision cam and one project really comes to mind i'm thinking of building an overwatch that can watch my backyard my backyard is usually lonely and dark and um, i'm thinking i could build a project where i can monitor my backyard and get uh snapshots uh, i could attach like a motion sensor to the camera and every time there's movement in the backyard i can get a, a an alert or notification on my phone how about that so i'm going to show us the different items i'm going to be using for the project so if you're ready so come on let's go build Can someone stop that dog? Someone's gonna lose your job. This. The dog is roughly the package. Can someone stop that dog? Can you just sit down and sit, 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 sit? Come on, doggy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is <so> nasty. <laughs> Thank you. Processors, breadboard, the ESP8266 module, Wi Fi module, the DHT11 is a temperature sensor, our permanent board, which we use for our soldering. Here is a joystick controller, which we're going to use to um, control the direction of the server models. The USB cables here, and I have my digital multimeter. Okay, so not to worry, I'm going to show us a different, uh, I'm going to show us on our website a different, a full list of the different items which we're going to be using for the have to build. So you might want to do well to check out that list, the full list. Okay, so are you ready? So we're going to go on with the next project now. So let's go build.
so sunny. So we're going to do an install today. So I will be going to Dallas today. And uh, let me see. I tried to install here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Ready and we're doing this. Let's go. Yep. I ain't closing my eyes. Good. But it's working. I guess that's um, some false positives um, it's probably thinking my eyes because maybe my eyes are always looking closed so um, I'm tending to get more false positives I think anyway let, let's see how it goes Okay, so concerning the servo models, um, I actually tried getting the Raspberry Pi to send the captured XY locations uh, from of my face to the Arduino, but I kept receiving all the dash uh, characters. I guess one of the problem um, is the Arduino serial library, which um, I think after 128 US character key codes, it's begins to send um, gibberish i'm still thinking of what to do to solve it i'm thinking whether to use a different serial port program altogether or better write my own serial port library i'm still thinking about this though
Okay. Yeah, that's a false positive. Hey, nice bike. Bro, you're in my way. It's usually cold at night, with the little doggy outside. With this Wi-Fi temperature logger, I'll be able to know exactly when to bring in the doggy.
right so we can hear that uh so i'm just gonna do a a drive around let's see uh how it goes okay so i'm just gonna drive around um where i stay so i'll just test it with my eyes closed like this anti-slip detector and um, even though I didn't get the servo motor work I hope to make more improvements in the servo models and uh, make it more um, functional what I intend to do in the next episode subsequent episode um, there will be more improvements there will be more tests I did a day test and I did a night test okay so and uh, I hope to do more tests to be able to, be able to make the anti-slip detector more functional and because uh, I had a lot of false positives also if you uh, said if you saw in the test so I hope to work on the anti slip detector and reduce the false positives okay so also on the have the build I was able to implement motion detector and allow um, the system send me email notifications in my inbox and usually the email that is usually sent uh, would also come with a URL link. The URL link usually allowed me to um, connect the cam so long uh, it's on the, the Wi-Fi, you know, the Wi-Fi connection of the house. And, I'll, 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 and also I'll be able to um, connect to the cam and uh, do a live video stream uh, real time. I'll be able to watch um, real time what's going on in the backyard. I was able to achieve that. I hope to do more, in, um, make more improvements on that as well also we have a complimentary website that is going to be out i'm hoping before the end of this production we have the website active but even if it's not active we're going to leave the link in uh in the video description of uh, this youtube post also the website would have all the articles featuring all, all the projects so far we have um featured on the series so we you, there'll be a lot of explanations there'll be schematics there will be source code so you might want to go ahead and um, use the website to um, follow most of the stuff that we're building and um, you, you you can shoot me emails I really appreciate that you can let me know um, if there's anything you need help about in some of the things that uh, will be on the website if you want to build along it that would be great and if you also need help with uh, getting some stuff I can point you in the right direction so and um, also uh, I would want to say, please do well to leave a like. Uh, it really helps me. It really encourages. Uh, it really encourages what I'm doing. Encourages me, uh, my team, and you can share the video. You can tell your friends what we're doing. Uh, I really appreciate that. It, it goes a long way. So I want to say, um, I had a great time making the video. I want to say, 
thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.